Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Warcraft. We are currently standing in the Temple of the Five Dawns, which is the class hall for the monk. My character that I've chosen for Legion and for hopefully raiding content will be the Mistweaver Monk. The Mistweaver Monk is the healing spec, if you are out of the know. And essentially this video is going to be going through some bits and pieces that I've been up to with Legion, my thoughts on it, and some cool concepts about the monk. So first of all, we have the artifact weapon in question, which is, with every class you have an artifact weapon. Every spec has one as well, so for the monk's healing one we have Shailun, the Staff of Mists. Now, I've been playing for over a week, since so Legion was released only a week ago. And I've completed the... I would say it's about a third of the tree so far, and this is where it gets tough. You are looking at a lot of points, which is your artifact power, which you can earn by going out in the world to get other points as upgrades. So for example, if I want to upgrade this little thing here, which it increases the peeing spell of one of my spells, I'm going to need 6,000 artifact power. Now, how much is that in retrospect if you've never played WoW, or if you've played, you've played WoW but you haven't played Legion? That's a lot. We are looking at a lot of grinding and a lot of time spent trying to find that much to do one spell. But, as it was reported from Blizzard, this is a thing that, if you take some time out, will become lower. So, it's to keep everyone kind of on the same balance so that people who started playing earlier in the expansion aren't going to be miles ahead of those who just started like yesterday. So, what is Temple of Five Storms? If you've ever played the Pandaren starting area, it is the Pandaren starting area of Shen Sinzu, the Wandering Isle. Why monks got this, and you have paladins receiving like a small little place, and I think the warriors received the Hall of Valor. It's ridiculous, we received something so big, and not exactly lore heavy for the monk, but very iconic to Pandaria. Which is quite good, because Legion, in my thoughts, has been one... It's been very generous to the monk. Now, I can't say to the rest of the classes, because I've not played too many of them yet. I'm still playing through Paladin, and I wish to play through Mage at some point. We are looking at... The monk has received a lot of changes, and those changes are fantastic. From the ground up, everything they did to them is amazing. However, I must now get into the hard part. So, with everything in WoW, there is grinding. If you've ever played an MMO, you are aware of grinding. And in this... I've never heard this, this is new. Anyway. In this, we have a class hall campaign. Now, your campaign are very different, in diff depending on what you're doing. So, in the case of my current quest, it is to stock, restock the supplies of damn near everything for the monk's campaign. As we lost a lot, lore-wise, I won't spoil the whole thing, lore-wise, you can watch Noble 87, or play it yourself, and you see that the monks have lost a lot of stuff, and we are still recovering from what has happened via Legion. So what I'm doing is making a ton of bandages, because I need to be giving some supply deposits, which include bandages and food, so that we have more for the war effort. Um, so that's what's currently happening on screen for another 30 seconds. So, more thoughts on Legion. I have played every expansion since Wrath of the Lich King, that's when I started. And the game has never been better since I have started, then now. We are looking at... it. Well, it took Legion to realise how bad Warlords of Draenor were, was as an expansion as a whole. Now, I was so bored of it, I actually stopped playing it for about six to eight months. 
and I don't regret not doing any of the raiding content because it just did not interest me at all. I will say I've never done Archimond, I have never done Black Hand because it was just too boring and at the time I was maining a priest and it really, it really annoyed me. So here we go. Let's hand in this quickly. Hand in fives. This is going to take a while, but hey ho. So, Legion, I would say currently, has done very little wrong. The pacing, the amount of content you can do, is fantastic. Especially if you have a guild. My guild, my massive, massive advice for Legion is, if you've just started playing, or if you've just come back and you have no guild, Go out there and find yourself a really big guild, or just a guild that is very active and very talkative. Which, they're going to be quite a lot now. You're looking at most of the guilds have come back, as long as they had at least 20 plus people, are very much alive again. In the case of mine, I found a guild. Hopefully I'll be raiding with them soon. Can I do any more? No, I cannot, because I believe I have. Only two left. So I now need to go get some other stuff. I think it is cooking stuff. So let's have a look at that. Uh, I need to make... What do I need to make? I forgot what I need to make for this guy. So, the only... So far, the only gripes I have had... Is levelling. Now, leveling, no problem at all with the leveling process if you are dedicated to being a DPS class. If you are a D DPS class, or a DPS spec rather, so for example, if you are. Let's try an I don't need that. I don't need Old World. So, for example, if you are a. pure DPS spec like the mage, this will not, or you're considering playing a mage, this will be of no concern to you, you don't need to worry about this. I have that in. Why can't I have that in? But, for the classes who have multiples, and you know which ones you are, uh, so for me, my major example is, I am a monk. Monks can be every single role. We can be anything from tank, DPS, and healer. Now, the bonus behind that is we can pretty much fit any role and we've got cool playstyles. But if you really are dead set on trying to play through one of them at, to play as the one spec you want to play throughout the, throughout the leveling process, if you are not DPS, it will be slightly tougher. Now, my ranking for it is for ease of ease of playability, playing DPS is by far the fastest and easiest way to to play the, to play the content. Now that's just how it's always been. As long as you have a little bit of self healing or some potions or some food, you'll be fine. Your next one is tank. Tanks have still got that bit of damage that they don't have to worry about, and so they can do quite a bit. The problem one. And I personally have done it, because I wanted to test it when Blizzard announced that all specs could level through Pandaria. Oh, not Pandaria, Legion. I had to check. So, I went and did the ridiculous thing of playing through level 100 to 110 as a healer. And I do not recommend it. It is very tough and very, very boring. It took me about a week on and off to level to 110 because it got frustrating. Now there's nothing to say I couldn't just switch out into my into my DPS spec at all. I could have done that at any point and I would have been fine. But that would have defeated the premise of testing out to see if it's possible. And yes, it definitely is. You can definitely go out there and play through the spec. And in some cases, with misclicks, especially with the artifact power, it's worth it. Because the artifact powers, I do not have any on me. But there is a bit of a clause on them, which is, 
whenever you pick up an item that gives you artifact bonus, it will declare your currently your current equipped one. So, for example, if you are currently playing your um, so for me it'd be if I'm currently playing instead of my Mistweaver, which is going to be my main spec, I'm playing Windwalker, and then click up one of the artifact items. All that artifact power is going to go into my Windwalker weapon, not my Mistweaver weapon. Which, for me personally, as I really want to dedicate to my, dedicate myself to healing, is a waste. Now, not to say that if my guild and then for extension, if I got a raiding party wanted me to DPS, that would be a perfect bonus because then at least my my weapons would be a little bit more on form. But right now, as my main dedication is going to be towards healing, the artifact power in my Windwalker weapons is now kind of lost. It's not that useful. And I have done it times before. I've actually found that people in my guild have accidentally done it when they're fishing, which is even worse. Because there is, to my knowledge, there is no artifact weapon fishing rod. So what happens when you activate these items when you've got something that can't take artifact power in it? It just goes. You've lost all that artifact power. And when you've picked up something that, say, that is a 400 artifact power, which are really hard to find, you've just wasted 400 artifact power, and you can't do anything about it. So this is an example of the way that artifact upgrades work. So you have to go back to your class hall, you have to use their forges, so in the case of my one it is the turtle head of the statue. And with the points you have procured, you can put them into upgrades. So these are all the upgrades for the Fists of Heaven, which are the Mistweaver, not Mistweaver, the Windwalker bonus. So, all of these bonuses are, in retrospect, very, very powerful. No doubt, they are all great for what they do. It's all about which one you want to choose for your playstyle. For me, personally, I don't DPS a lot, but whenever I do, I prefer using more single target stuff. And my AoE comes from my Storm or from Fire, which makes a co two copies of me. However, another cool thing is we have appearances you can earn. So as you go through with the content of leveling and then further on, you'll be able to change how the weapons themselves look. Now of course, for those people who are wondering, well I've earned a ton of transmog items, can I not transmog these things to not look like them because I don't like how they look in any form? Yeah, you can. You can Go to your trans the transmogers in your capital cities or in uh, shrines in the shrines in Pandaria, and you can just transmog them to be whatever you want to look for. So if you don't like the look of anything for the fists of heaven, be it Shadow Pan Legacy, which that does look rather cool, the Shadow Pan Legacy. If you don't want any of those, don't worry about it. You can just go out, pick up a fist weapon that you like, and transport get to that. Transport's still there, like as it would be. And oh I pressed storm earth wind earth and fire. Oops, never mind. Not gonna really matter too much now I'm in back in my mystery form. So I think my fit my thoughts upon Legion are very similar to most people's it's it's fantastic. Excuse me. It's fantastic. Blizzard's done so well. We'll have to see how the raiding comes out with it because that's another bonus is that raiding has not opened and it will not open for as of recording this for another I think it's two weeks and that will be the Emerald Nightmare and then we've already had patch 7.1 being previewed with the Karazan dungeon we have so if we have a look at the map because I think no oh, I cannot look at the map because mine is just a wandering isle but we still have more stuff to do so, I now have. Wow, I've uh, rare troops at once. So I've now got a new mission for my class hall to help someone else. But we will do that next time. Right now, 
this was just an overview of the class hall for the monk. My thoughts upon monk changes and upon the overall changes in Legion. And I would say I highly recommend it. If you've never played Wild of Warcraft before, now is one of the greatest times to play. You have so many cool options to play. Every single class feels so nice. You don't have to worry about what is the best place, best thing to play anymore. It, that's kind of been gone for quite a few years, but now especially, you are looking at a time which is amazing to jump on. Anyway, that's everything from this little look at, well, I will probably be posting up another video quite soon, which will be to deal with the class hall, continu continuation of my class hall campaign. Again, because of spoilers, we will just jump in here, and so you don't see the beginning of it, and you can kind of experience that yourself, and we'll go through that together. So anyway, that is everything for this time, and I will see you next time.